Okay, so what we have here is a uh, Girard turntable. The uh, AC power goes into this power input here, and uh, the wire goes straight up to the switch, comes back down, and goes into the power transformer here. And the secondary side of this transformer comes over here and feeds the uh, servo circuitry. And there's no overcurrent protection here in the AC primary. So we're going to put a, a line fuse in here. So we're going to unplug this blue wire here. Now in electrical wiring, blue and brown are both live. And the plug is not polarized. And I'll be mounting the fuse block right here. I'll take my drill, and I'll just drill a little hole right here. Make sure our screws are going to go through there, and it is. So I'll cut the end of this off here. I'll take some uh, 16 gauge wire here. And that's going to go from here and come down to the block, which is going to be about this long here. So I'll strip these ends here. end for this block and then just make slightly longer. Twist them together. Okay, so we'll strip our blue wire here. Careful not to break any of the strands. We'll twist them together. We'll use a uh, rosin flux here. You can get that at Radio Shack. And we'll use a uh, 4060 uh, solder, which is for electronics. I'll dip the uh, solder in the flux. I'll take the fuse block, I'll put flux on both sides of the terminal there. I'll dip the wire in the flux. I'll put some solder on my iron here.
make sure I don't drop any solder on the circuitry over here or on the inside. I'll put it in like that, bring it up, and I will then heat both the uh, wire and the terminal. Okay, there's still a hole there, so I'll take and put some more solder on my iron. And I'll fill that hole in. There it is. The bottom is full, the top is full. Okay, we'll take our red wire here. I'll dip it into the flux. I'll take some of my soldering wire. I'll put flux here on the terminal on both sides. Clean my tip again. I'll put some more solder on my iron. I'll dip the uh, wire into the flux. I make sure all the strands go through the the hole there. And I'll heat both the terminal and the wire. I'm going to have to put some more solder on here. There we go, we got a really nice fill there. Now I can bring that in, see how the insulation's up a little bit? Just before I cool, let that cool, I can just kind of work that down so it just butts up right against where you want it. Now down here, I'm going to take this yellow wire off. And we have to go into the where the transformer is here. Okay, we'll bend that in. We'll bring these strands back. Okay, so we'll use our pliers and we'll get these wires nice and flat, strands of the wire there. Take my soldering wire and put it in the flux. I'll put some flux on both sides of that terminal there where we're going to be soldering.
and this one will solder it without doing the drop soldering technique. So we're going to put just a tiny touch of solder on the iron there to get it tinned a little bit. And we'll heat the wire in the terminal. Then before that cools, I'll just slide that insulation up, butt it up against the terminal there. And I'll let you see the other side of that solder joint there. See it? Okay, so now we're ready to mount our block into place. So we'll take a little bit of debris out of there, put our screw in, put this through the hole. There's a little nub on the back of this, I gotta cut that off. on the back here. Get all nice and straight. We'll plug our yellow wire back in up here. our nut driver or we'll make sure it's nice and straight. We'll just tighten it up. Well, nice and perfectly straight so it looks like factory work. And we will put our uh, quarter amp fuse in here. We'll get a few zip ties out and take care of our wire dress. tie our two ground wires, green wires together over here just to keep them out of the way. We'll take our clippers and we'll just clip these little zip ties off. our flux up because of uh, the toxic chemicals that are in it. Tin our 
our soldering iron before we unplug it so it can be save the tip. Now I'll tell you why I put this fuse in. See how small the filament is in this fuse here? And uh, this is your standard house fuse. See how big the filament is inside that? See these are rectifier diodes here and the power capacitors and the voltage regulator. If one of these go bad in a shorting condition or the motor shorts out, It can overheat this transformer and if this gets hot and starts shorting out it can start melting the wires back here and possibly start melting the uh, line cord and if that shorts out outside the unit it's a possibility that it could start a fire in your house. So uh, there's a closer up of my soldering here, here, and the red wire down here and that's where the power comes in through the back of the unit. And there is the uh, model number of the unit. So uh, here's where the uh, power cord, what it looks like, it plugs into the back. The motor, the inner platter here, the big outer platter goes on top like this. The rubber mat sits on top like this. And the spindle, see the threads in it? Just screws down in like that. And it does have the option of uh, playing a stack of records, but I don't like doing that because it can scratch the vinyl. It has uh, auto start reject. You got auto manual on and off, 3345. You got the anti skate. And over here, you got the uh, pitch control and the strobe light. 